I think each man can make it. If anyone does, it'll be the first mark of the afternoon. And you just saw Dan Gallant miss his shot at it. Bob Kelly's taking time to take a look at the shot that he has. That is the shot that he has. delay but no problem first mark of the day Galat going for the lone pin does not get it puts up a nine it's early but in total pinfall the difference is one pin right now but Bob Kelly has a bonus ball so he can erase that pretty quickly bang got it Kelly leaves the diamond left and he will fill it with six. And mark again. Two consecutive marks. If he makes it three straight, it'll be 50 bucks. This is the first of two bonus balls. Two fills, if you will, on the strike. He dropped the hammer last time. So here's the first. Leave that done. That's the fill, four horsemen right, plus. So fill it with five. Two consecutive marks. Gallant fills the strike with 10, is marked again. So in total pinfall, we are dead even, but we've got an extra bonus ball for Bill Hart to throw first. We've hit the midway point of the first string. We'll take a break, come back, change bowlers, finish out the first string, and we have a whole full second string of bowling to go. But first, we'll do this. We'll finish out the first string with Bill Hart and Peter Flynn. Bill Hart, the first to do honors. This is to... Fill the mark left by his partner, Dan Gallant. He'll fill it with six, seven. Hart will fill it with seven. One pin fell when you were watching the first ball of Peter Flynn. Okay, that's the shot that Bill Hart has to make it three marks in a row and 50 bucks. That's what Peter Flynn has. Couple of tens here, sixth box, first string, first box for these two guys. Seven pin lead for the championship team of Gallant and Hart. We move to the seventh box. That's the, I remind you, cumulative score at the end of two strings of bowling. Lots of bonuses too. If one of the teams can hit 275, they'll earn money for that. It'll go. going to come back but not enough nice action in the striking zone Peter Flynn's gotten his first mark of the day teams third but not consecutively second straight 10 for Bill Hart and 86 in total pinfall opposite a 79 in total pinfall but of course there's a there's a bonus ball involved here so Peter Flynn can take care of that difference It's nine. Will it be ten? Yes, it will. Yeah. 
a nice ball. And right now it's been the biggest ball of the afternoon. Good bid. Not quite, but good bid. Three tenths in a row for Bill Hart. And you can see what Peter Flynn has done. He marks in the seventh, fills it with ten, and with the strike, of course, dropping a hammer in the eighth. Four horsemen left side. This is the first of the two bonus balls. Leaves the four horsemen left and the ten. One, two, three, four, all four have gone. So we'll just, we'll see how far Peter Flint can take the damage of the strike in the eighth box. It's coming back and it'll take out the seven. So he'll fill it with nine. And in boxes scored, it's a 12-pin lead for Flynn and Kelly. One more ball to affect that. So put up a 10 in the ninth box. And it's a mark for Bill Hart. So the difference still remains at that 12-pin difference, but they will bite into it right here. Wow. Wow. Bite into it by one. Tenth box, by the way, first string. First balls really set the first ball of the box really set the tempo for Bill Hart. Particularly in this box, anyway. You got a seven opposite an eight in the tenth box. We have done the first string, and it's a 12-pin difference. The challengers, Flynn and Kelly at 126. Gallant and Hart at 114. They are the champions. There is a second string to go. Plenty of bowling. The difference can be eaten up or stretched. We'll see in just a minute. We're back for the second string. And Bob Kelly will start off the string. First ball, second string. All ten. Will they go? No. Dan Gallant will... Throw his first ball, second string. Bang, right on. Well, he was robbed at a hammer the first time, so. So Dan Gallant will take a 127 average, a high single of 199, and a high triple of 503. And put up a 10 here. First box, second string. Bob Kelly, of course, will be first filling. He has an average of 123, a high single of 210, and a high triple of 481. He'll fill it with six. Close, but no cigar, as they say. Ten opposite an eight in the second box of the second string and a 20 pin lead for Kelly and Flynn. We move to the third box, second string. These guys will bowl through the fifth, hand it off to their partners for a finish. If there's a tie at the end of the two strings, and each bowler will bowl a box. Oh, 
All right, this almost becomes a must pin for Dan Gallant. First time he missed it to the right, second time he missed it to the left. A 10 opposite a 9 in the third box. We move to the fourth. Opportunity number one for Galland and Hart here in the second string. Passed up, 21 pin lead for the challengers. He's got eight, does he have nine? No, the seven is wobbling but doesn't go. He has nine, does he have not enough to take the lonely soldier out? Each man marking in the fourth box. But Dan Gallant would like to have that ball back a box earlier. So Kelly will fill it with five. And Gallant will fill it with four. So the Flynn Kelly team will add yet another pin to their lead. Nice comeback. Second mark in a row and Dan Gallant will step out and hand it off to his partner Bill Hart. And the first ball that Bill will throw will be to fill the mark that he left him in the fifth box. So through the fourth box second string it's a 22 pin lead. So pinfall it's a 22 pin lead but Bill Hart can bite into it a little bit. Falling first in this string is Peter Flynn. For him. Look at them all go down like toy soldiers. This to fill. Fill it with eight. Fill it with nine. No, fill it with eight. Wild Lee. Flynn has an average of 130, a high single of 208, and a high triple of 482. Almost puts Bill Hart, who has an average of 128, a high single of 207, a high triple of 469, in a must make. Oh! It's a bonus for Peter Flynn. Stretch it by five. Put the lead up to 19 pins. Four horsemen, left side. All right. Mark here would make it nice. Mark here would tighten it down just a little more. We'll tighten it down just a little more. All right. A mark opposite an eight. So there you have it. Through the sixth box of the second string, it's a 19-pin lead. They shave two more pins off an actual pinfall. It's down to 17. And the first ball that Bill Hart will throw will bite into that. But first, Peter Flynn will throw. Fall is six. That's a tough shot, too. Okay, this to Phil. What is it? It's not bad. <laughs> Phil it with seven. And it, maybe even more importantly, a decent shot at marking again. So we're right now down to 10 pin difference. The delay is Ralph Stewart is taking care of things at the other end. Okay, here's Peter Flynn. Let's see what he can do with this. All right. This falls in the must make category. Well, if for nothing else, don't leave pins standing. It's taking two more pins off the lead. We've gone through the eight boxes of the second string. It's an eight pin lead for Kelly and Flynn. We have two full boxes of bowling left, the ninth and the tenth. Flynn opens the ninth. 
Nice ball. Hart in the ninth. He's got help there. Doesn't matter. He got it. You can brush against it or smash it. You still got it. Hart needed it. And you can't leave pins standing either, so. This to fill. Fill it with. Fill it with eight. Nine. Any more? No. Hart leaves the four horsemen left side. He's bowling in the, and they are bowling in the tenth box. So, oh, he got it. He picked it up, and it would appear. In fact, we are. We're both headed to bonus balls, but there ain't enough left. So Peter Flynn and Bob Kelly have taken down the champions, Dan Gallant and Bill Hart. Flynn's going to go out in style. Hart will fill it with six. The match is over. And Flynn and Kelly, a couple of high fives for each other. They celebrate a victory today. They take out... Gallant and Hart, 257 to 235. They win it by 22 pins. We'll be back and chat with the teams right after this. Welcome back to Cattlepin Doubles. Our teams are holding their championship trophies. It's the big ones for these guys over here on my left, and it's the little ones for you guys. It feels, feels, feels a little lighter. We know right? it was going to happen one time. We wish it wasn't this quick, but well, you know, Peter I, and Bobby are two tough competitors, and we knew we had to bring yeah. the best ball. And, well, you know, I, I commented at the time, early in the second string, you had a chance, and I thought it was a, almost a must shot. And, and you didn't pick up the mark, and therefore you didn't have the bonus, and therefore it just can seem to stop well, there. Two-string total is no room for error whatsoever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, gentlemen, I want to thank you for the thank show. You. Bill, good show. You gave it a good run in the end. Hey, not enough. Not enough. All right. Well, thank you. Thank, thank you very you. much. How about a round of applause for the champions now turned runners up? So Bobby says he doesn't have a voice, so he's going to let you carry him. Like you did in the match, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something different. No, no. You guys really got some rhythm going there, and you made it difficult for these two guys. They, they had some nice rhythm coming into this match today. Yeah, they, they're the two good balls, I'd say, and uh, they... Missed one critical one there, and uh, we got a couple of breaks, and that was the difference. Bob, do you, do you have one Christmas wish? Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas, everybody. You got enough of a voice to say that. You finished out with a strike. You finished out with style. You finished out with, with class. That, you know, there must be no greater feeling in this sport than doing it that way, huh? <laughs> a $50 ball. <above, laughs> <yeah. laughs> well, congratulations. You guys have done very well. For all of us here at Candlepin Doubles, have the merriest of Christmases. We hope your holiday season is terrific. We'll see you next week on Candlepin Doubles. Bye-bye, everybody.